What's poppin' people? Welcome back to another video. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell. Also hit the like button if you guys have been enjoying the content. Today we're gonna be fishing with some big jigs for some big bass. We're gonna go on the hunt today. We got some nice weather. It was cold this morning, but the sun's got out now. It's feeling pretty good, and I think we can put a hurting on these bass. We actually had a cold front blow in last night, and uh, the fishing has been a little slower than we would like it, but we're gonna go out there on the hunt for some big bass, and I think we can make it happen. So we got my man Cody today with us. What's good, bro? Then we got uh, the boat down here, and look at the pollen in the water. The pollen has been so bad and it has been tearing me up recently. I told Cody, I woke up this morning, I was like, dude, I was a big pollen ball, like yeah, literally. Your eyes were swollen. My, my eyes were swollen shut. But we're gonna go ahead and get on the water and uh, tie up some jigs, start covering some water, seeing if we can find some fish on bed too, because recently around the areas I've been fishing, some fish have pulled up, they started to spawn. I don't know how this cold front's gonna affect them, but we're still gonna get out here and try it. So let's go ahead and uh, look through our tackle, see what jigs we got, tie up our rods, hop on the boat, and go catch a big fish. So this is the jig that I'm throwing. It's a little tour grade skipping jig by Strike King. This one is watermelon red. So it's got like a green pumpkinish skirt, a little bit of red flake in there. Looks pretty good. I think it's gonna get the job done. Then we're gonna pair it up with a Rage Crawl and Green Pumpkin. Very simple and basic. It's a little Green Pumpkin one. We're gonna pair it on the back of this jig. And I'll tell you, the one thing that I like about these jigs is this little tiny, if you guys can see right there, it's got a little screw lock. So you can screw the Rage Crawl right on there and I promise you, it'll last at least for two times as many fish. So all you do is you push the bait up on the hook just like that and you start twisting the crawl up on the bait, just like that. I'm telling you, this thing stays on there. Boom, there we go. That's what we're gonna be throwing. Let me skipping that up in some trees today, flipping it around, maybe flipping it around some of this grass, see if we can find some beds up on it. We're gonna be tying this on my Custom Pro Mach 2 combo. If you guys are wondering about the knot, you guys already know, half you guys already know. It's a uni knot. That's my go-to knot. Everybody ties the polymer, but uh, let me let me tell you guys, a uni knot's legit. Been tying this thing for the last, I'd say probably eight years. I tied a polymer for a long time, but switched it over to the uni, and I, I, in my opinion, it's one of the best knots out there. Wet our line, cut our tag in right there, and we are good to go. Let's go ahead and get out here and see if we can catch one on this. Something swirled up there. Yeah, he just ate me. I watched it. Oh my gosh, that was actually a good one. I didn't stick him though, so I think he'll bite again. I actually watched him dive after that. He did swirl up there. Gosh, why did he not eat it? It's probably. Hmm. Awesome right there. Skipped way back up in those trees. Come up here, boy. All right, after missing like four fish, does that feel good? Look at that male right there. Got that jig. Little tiny guy, but hey, we got to start somewhere. He's <laughs> just going crazy. Okay. <laughs> got to start somewhere. Gosh, he's running at me so fast. Nice. Another Squeak McGee. Well, you're not the big bass we're looking for. Oh my gosh. That is the, the meanest guy I've ever seen in my life. You don't have to be that mean to me, buddy. Dude, he was going at me so fast, dude. That was a hyper bass. One of the craziest fish I've ever caught.
There he is. Man, we found the nursery. A little tiny guy. I don't even know how one that small can eat that jig. Crazy. Look at that. There he is. That one's a little better. Came off. Nice. <laughs> Our day is going weird. We're not losing confidence though. We're just gonna keep on casting. We're getting a lot of bites. They're biting. It's just, I haven't really seen many big ones. And then the fish that I do think was big, I, I broke off. I think that first bite I had might have been a decent fish too. Just gotta keep on covering some water. Keep that confidence high. There's a big one, I think. Oh yeah. On a spinner bait. I know we're supposed to be fishing with big jigs. I ain't even that big. He looked so big when he was jumping. That's embarrassing. On a spinner bait, not bad. Can't complain. Got a bunch of wind going up on the bank. Pick up a spinner bait, cast it in there. I know we're filming a big jig video, but I mean, hey man, I saw an opportunity there. Definitely gonna be one on this grass, dude, 100%. No way for there not to be one. Yep. That's a better fish. Oh yeah, that's a better fish. That's getting in the right direction. There we go. Oh, that's a pretty one too. Nice. Nice. Little two pounder. Look how he ate that thing. That's how you want him to eat that jig when you're out here. Well, there we go, guys. Little two pounder. We're getting somewhere. You gotta start somewhere. Maybe we'll find that big girl soon. <laughs> I'm gonna catch another one. I got another one. That's a big one, dude. Gotta be, oh yeah. Oh, they're on this bank, dude. That was the next cast. That's a good fish. They're getting bigger, baby. That's what that big jig video is about. Let me get you in the boat, baby. Nope, just come off. It's all good. Two and a half pounder. We want bigger than that. I thought she was a lot bigger. When she ate it, she felt so big. Yeah, we got a few. Go. We got that one right there. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, it's a little one. A little tiny one. Nice. He's got a little hole in the bottom of his mouth. Yeah, we got a few today. Yeah. You have a good day, man. Maybe he'll like it. I just. That was a big wake and he just ate me. He's running at me. It might be big, dude. That's a big one. I think. Is it? I am so annoyed with that. I mean, it's a good fish, but it's just. Uh, I thought I saw, saw the wake. I think he liked it, though. That's a good fish. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's not a bad one. It's just not really what you want, you know? I, I really want to be holding like a five pounder, but this is the part of fishing, guys. You know, we're coming out here, we're hunting for these big bass and big jigs, but we're just not getting the bites, but we're still covering water, making it happen. And we're still catching some decent fish. I mean, you can't complain. You cannot complain when you're catching bass. 
It's just a lot of fun right there. Dude, come on, please, 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 please. No. Dude, they feel so big and then I was just praying it was gonna be like a five plus pounder. It's a good fish though. Caught him around right that drop off. <laughs> Got a live audience. <laughs> nice. Look at that right there. Does a fish like it? Fish likes it when he eats it like that. I think they like it too. They're laughing in the background. There we go. Pretty bass on that jig, man. Jig bite's getting better. I think they're liking it. There we go. <laughs> they are, let me tell you, man. They are smunching this jig. They aren't big. They are not much to show. I know we're searching for big bass today, but man, let me tell you, that's still fun to catch. You just gotta love it. When those fish are eating it like that, you can really tell that they like it, just eating the jig in the back of their throat. It's a good time right there. That's a big one, dude. Oh, dude, there's... <laughs> They're just off the bank. It's like a two pounder. You're not big, but he's better than the last one. Gosh, they're just eating it. That was the next cast, guys. I can't get it out of their mouth. Like I said, the big ones aren't biting, but those guys are munching this jig right here. I'm about to start whacking them, bro. Let's go here. That's a good one. Oh yeah, that's the biggest one today. Let's go. Let's go. That's the biggest one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what a fight. What a fight. Let's go. Easy three pounder. We got a land you, baby. She likes it. Look at that. In the back of her throat. We're just going to get you right up in here, baby. Look at that. Look at how she ate that, man. If those fish don't like that jig, I don't know. I don't know what you call that. Man, we got some gentlemen fishing over here on this point. I didn't want to go in front of them. I, I caught those two fish, so I decided to go behind them. Just got, got that fish right there on the edge of that dock. That's a good one. One of the best ones today. Let's go, baby. We're getting better. We're finding the big ones. Give me some, Cody. Let's get it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what a fight. What a fight. That's a good one. It's like two and a half. Choke that jig though. Look at that right there. <laughs> Look at how they're eating that thing. Man, you gotta love it. That's a good one too. They're getting bigger. Getting a little bigger every single time. It's a good little sign. Just choking that jig. They seem to be eating it better as the day's going on. We might've went through like a little spot during the day where the bite just wasn't as good. And now they're firing back up. It's a good fish. Dude, that's a good one. Oh, yeah, that's a four pounder, ain't it? That's the big bass we're looking for right there. That's a big one. No, he's three still. Come on, man. Give me something bigger than three. But that's still a really good fish. Look at how they're eating that. I mean, dude, come on. Shout out. To the old Strike King jig getting her done today. God, dog. I'm just munching it. This is like shortly after the last. If you guys are wondering what we're doing, it's fishing the corner of some of these docks. Um, we fished some flats earlier, you know, some, some on the edge of the grass and uh, some on the laydowns on the bank. And now we're just starting to catch them on these docks really good. It's pretty fish, man. They're starting to bite. They're heating up. I'm telling you, we went through like a spot in the day where we didn't have a bite in like an hour. And now we're just smoking them. It's a good sign. They're getting bigger too. Dude, that's, that has to be a dang big one. Yeah, that's a good one. 
Dude, they're getting bigger, man. This fish is long. Come here, baby. Oh, yeah. Solid two pounder, eh? Got a big mouth. Just long and skinny. Look at the scars. Oh, yeah, dude. That's weird. Look at that. Looks like something almost got her. Mm. Interesting. That's, is that not like a long oh, bass? Like that's crazy. Still a good one. I was hoping that that was going to be him, dude. It's so funny because guys, when they bite it, they just eat it. You hook set. And with these fish being on bed, they literally just run as far as they can. So you're like reeling as fast as you can. You can't really tell how big they are. Um, but man, I just really want that five pounder. We've been trying so hard for it. I'm just like crossing my fingers. Like, let's make it happen. Dude, these fish run like, like nothing I've ever seen before. I haven't even seen them. So. That's our first fish on the small jig. Nice. These bass are just crazy, man. You hook them, they start running. They hit the nitrous. Steaming by. First one on the small one. Bloop. Man. Oh, that might be bigger. Oh, yeah, it is. Jeez, man, that's a good one. That might be the biggest. Oh, dude, definitely the biggest today, right? Look how he choked that jig. Gosh, he liked it. Oh, it's gone. Right in the back of his throat, little jig. That's a good fish. That's a decent big, that's a decent bass right there. It's fat belly. Yeah. Right on those cypress trees. It looks so good. So good. Catch your four pound pollen donkey. Catch your four pound pollen donkey. Jeez. Dude, wait till you see that GoPro clip. That was, he about jerked the rod out of my hand. <laughs> Dude, hey, replay that clip. If you guys saw that rod jerk, just threw my bait. Jerk out of my hand. This fish isn't even big, but let me tell you, that was one of the craziest bites all day. About made my rod go in the water. Little frisky guy. Well guys, I just got back to my truck. Let me tell you, it was a fun day on the water. We caught a lot of fish. Just could not get those big bites. I don't know what it was. You know, the big fish just weren't biting today. We had that big cold front blow in last night and we caught a ton of fish. Probably caught around 30 today but nothing really big. You know, we were hunting for those big bass. We didn't make it happen today, but we still caught some really good ones and it was a good time. Thank you guys so much for the support. If you guys are new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button if you guys have been enjoying the content. And I'll catch you guys in the next video.